Welcome to what should be a very fun tutorial in Excel. So today we're going to talk about how to justify in Excel. Now I'm saying justify text because usually that's what you would do. Uh, but we're going to talk about two commands, how to justify in Excel. And the second one should blow your mind. But let's start with the first one. So what is a justify command in Excel? Well, it's basically derived from Word, right? Because Word, if you look up here, you're going to see that we have four commands. We have left align, mid, so center align, right align, and justify. But if you look at Excel, it doesn't have the justify command, right? And, you know, in a way, it makes total sense. Excel was never meant for you to write whole paragraphs of text or anything like that. And yet sometimes we do get into that situation. So, you know, since we have Word open, let's just use it to create some dummy text. So let's say create uh, three paragraphs with 10 sentences each. So this, oh, this is too much. We're just going to use the, the first two or even just the first one. So we're going to use this and let's go back to Excel and let's paste this into a cell, right? At this point, doesn't seem like it's doing much. Uh, now I'm going to do something that's, you know, you should never do, but I'm going to merge and center all this into a single cell. And I'm also going to kind of wrap this, right? But you can see it is wrapped, so it does wrap within the cell, but it's not justified, right? If anything, it's center aligned, and, and it actually is. You can see it right here, right? Because it says merge and center. So that's what it does. But now I could go control one, I could go into alignment, and I could say, well, horizontal alignment should be justify and okay. And now this looks very different. Now this is justified. Now, since the command is so far away, right? You always need to go into the format cells. So control one or right click and format cells. And then you need to pick it out here. Sometimes the best thing to do is just to add it up here. So if you go to more commands, you would go to all commands, press j and just find the justify command add that to your quick access toolbar and there it is right for quick use um, but anyways this is what you can do with a basic justify text command in excel but now let me show you something that's kind of you know crazy so here we're going to look at another justify command and it's this one home fill and justify now this one this one does crazy things now let me show you so over here i have just regular cells right filled with month names that's it so these cells filled with month names and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select three columns here right i'm gonna do this and I'm going to say home, fill, and justify. And let's see what happens. And something weird happens. When I selected three columns, what I actually said is, look, I know there's text within here, but wherever you see it, tell it that it actually has this much room. Right? So in a sense, it justified within that room that I gave it. But that's not the spooky part. The spooky part is before I had multiple cells here, right? There was data in multiple cells. Where is that data now? Well, if you look at the first cell, it actually says January space, February space, March space. So what it did is for as long as there was room, it just kept adding from the cells 
with spaces in between. So in effect, this cell, which was just January before, is now January down to July. And now if I take the same cells and I say, well, look, now you have this much room, right? And I say, fill, justify. Now it's all in a single cell with spaces in between. And that could be easily solved by simply replacing or substituting spaces with commas. You know, you can, you can easily join values. So this is a sort of mechanical substitute for text join function. If you have an old Excel and you don't have the text join function, but then you can also do something crazy with this. You can say, okay, so there are multiple values in this cell now, right? But now I'm going to say this cell actually just has this much room. So just this column, no text should go beyond this column. Fill, justify. Oh, did you see what it did? And okay. So it, these two have, you know, they're so short that they actually fall within that. So now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to say have this much room, fill, justify. And oh my God, it just split the text into cells. This is just amazing. It's not, you know, it's not something you're going to use every day. It actually is useful. I have used it uh, even this month. I no, well, it's the first of August. So last month I did use it. Um, it's something that you should just keep in mind that it's out there and, you know, use it when the, when the occasion arises. Because as you can see, it, it is kind of brilliant, particularly this second part, splitting cells. That's, that's not something that would be so easy, um, right? If you just had that original thing, you would have to go to Power Query, say split by space and then split two rows and, and it would work brilliantly. But this is mechanical. It works in Excel, right? So these are the two ways that you can justify in Excel and Hopefully you learned something new today and that's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.